Hello, I'm going to talk to you about free fall. With free fall, the only force acting is a gravitational force. Therefore, the only acceleration is the acceleration due to gravity. We're neglecting air resistance and we're assuming that the object is act, being acted upon only by the force of gravity. And that will cause an acceleration which is constant and constantly downward. The numerical value of that acceleration is 32 feet per second per second or 9.8 meters per second per second. Now, if I drop an object from rest, that object will fall faster and faster and faster. And in each time interval, it'll fall further and further and further with a constant acceleration. That's true whether the object is moving down, that is the acceleration is constant whether the object is moving down or whether the object is moving up. For example, if I drop an object from here and let it fall down, its velocity will constantly increase on the way down. If I throw it up in the air, its velocity will constantly decrease at that same rate, 32 feet per second per second, all the way up. In fact, at the very top of the path, the velocity will be changing at a rate of 32 feet per second per second. Let me illustrate that by throwing this object up with such a speed that it'll take about one second to reach the top of the path, traveling a vertical distance of about 16 feet. And watch the motion of the object on the way up, at the top of the path, and on the way down. So the object travels upward with an ever decreasing velocity of 32 feet per second per second. As it travels downward, its velocity is increasing at a rate of 32 feet per second per second. And at the top, it has exactly that same acceleration, 32 feet per second per second, free fall.